I'm the one who dragged Nicole away. It's the only reason he even got into Isaac's car. Wendy said he was furious. I'm sorry, but it all comes down to organisation. Nicole should have had other social club members helping out. Still, I wish there was something I could do to help. How have the flyers been going? People have been picking them up as they come to the desk. It would be better if the flyers went to them. Maya, I am too busy for that. I am snowed under. I know, I wasn't suggesting. I thought I could hand them out, not you. Good afternoon. Uh, you may have noticed all the activity outside. We're cleaning cars to raise money for the hospital social club. Oh, cool. I'm in. Oh, great. Uh, I just need your car keys and $20. What about you, sir? I'm just here for a meeting. It's more than enough time to get your car cleaned, inside and out. It's for a good cause. All oh, right. <laughs> great. Thank you so much. Good on you. Today, a humble medical officer, tomorrow, head of department. Well, that's a few years away at least. But I have come a long way in the last few days, thanks to you. Always happy to help a fellow striver. So, what are you striving for, Isaac? I want to know. I'm not sure I know myself. Really? And here was me thinking it was something obvious, like knocking your cousin off his golden perch? Chris. Of all the surgical teams in the land, you choose his. You live in his house, you sleep with his girlfriend. There's definitely something going on. You used to date Chris, didn't you? A long time ago. But I owe him nothing. And this is a time of change. If you and I can help each other take advantage of that, well, we'd be mad not to. Don't you think? We'll never get through this lot before dark. No way. We have to. Just keep watching. Any chance you could use a hand here? Are you kidding me? I could kiss you, all of you. <laughs> You've got those two for the next hour, and me for as long as you want. And that's not all. I also have a boy volunteer. I found him moping in the cafe. I thought some hard work might help cheer him up. Moping? Why? Just point me to a car. Um, all yours, big boy. <laughs> Thank you. I was so starting to panic. I couldn't have that now, could I? Hi there. Hey, how does this sound? Lamb shank, slow cooked with onion and red wine, served on couscous with green beans. Delicious. Are you sure you're up to cooking? Of course. Well, I just mean after what happened. Like I said, I'm not letting Brody bring me down. Okay. But about that, can you tell me again what happened? Why? Well, I just want to get my head around it. I've never known Brody to do anything like that. Do you think I'm lying? I would never do that to you. Especially not now. Now? Isn't it obvious? I love you, Hunter. I shouldn't have said anything. I freaked you out. No. The opposite. This is amazing. I love you too. I have for a while. So how can you doubt me? I don't. I swear I don't. That's it. The last one. 500 bucks. Did I do good or did I do good? You did good, smarty pants. <laughs> hey! The car wash is over. <laughs> Good. And I found this in my in tray. Uh, this whole idea is yours, is it? Yeah, you were in a meeting, so I thought it was best to leave a note. Ah, good. We've uh, had an official complaint. From who? Well, someone saw all the soap going into the stream and they've rung something called the pollution hotline. As a result, the hospital has been hit with a fine. No way. It's mm. terrible. Mm. And we're not going to pay it. Oh, good job. You are. Me? Why? Well, the uh, car wash has nothing to do with the hospital. It was a social club fundraiser. You didn't get my permission. If you had tried to, I would have said no. So, uh, these are for you. Printout of the bylaw infraction and a copy of the fine. 1,500 bucks? No way. The uh, pay-by date is at the bottom there. I wouldn't miss that if I was you. 